Hey, what's up? I am Michelle B and I have something to admit. It's something that I don't share often, but here we are. I am a stress meditator slash was a stress meditator. I panic and then I meditate. Obviously, this isn't the ideal way to approach meditation. It's a little reactive. Meditation has the potential to literally change your brain. If you look up the benefits of consistent meditation, the jury is out. A meditation habit is life-changing and brain-changing, apparently. It does all of the good things. So for 29 days, I gave proactive meditation a go. I ditched the stress meditation and I got consistent, meditating every single day. In this video, I wanna talk about my experience, how meditation affected me, for those of you who are interested in building that life-changing habit of meditation. Through this video, you're going to see bits and pieces from my 29-day meditation journey and learn about my observations along the way. Good morning, it's currently 5.30 a.m. That croaky morning voice though. I'm also sick. Today, I'm just gonna get myself organized and get the Calm app paid for. So I've unlocked Calm Premium and look at all of these options. Like they just have so many things, so many things. So I'm gonna try and do 10 minutes of meditation every day. I'm probably gonna use meditations from the Calm app and I'll just switch it up and we'll see how we go. Is this gonna be life changing? Who knows? My first observation is that meditation makes me itchy. I did some Googling. Apparently, it's one of the most common problems for beginner meditators to have, which made me feel better. The main answers I could find were either I wasn't relaxing enough, the itching was actually my ego trying to pull me back into my egotistic ways, something like that, or my body is just so used to always having something to entertain me, being constantly on the go that it's pushing me to move out of my meditative space. I feel it's one of those things that the more you think about it, the more it happens. So it's just like riding it out. Another thing that I observed is that I let go of annoyances, frustrations, little things more easily when I'm meditating every day. So I'm going to settle myself down, do a little bit of meditation in a park. Oh, I'm like, I'm so happy. It's so nice here. I feel like today has been a real go, go, go day. Um, so it's nice to just like sit and breathe. So I'm officially one week in. So far what I'm noticing is that I am more aware of my feelings. I'm trying to fight them less and just notice them more. I like having the gap in my day where I just sit and don't do. I think I need more not doing. Doing the meditations every day, I'm finding that I am more self-forgiving. You never know what's causing what, I guess, but more recently, um, what did I do? I forgot to bring my camera to work, actually, and um, my battery was dead, and I bought like my charger to charge my battery. I bought my camera. Um, I put them all in a bag, and then I left them at home, and usually with that kind of thing, I would be like, grumpy at myself like I'd be like oh like you're so stupid how could you forget that like blah 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 and instead I was like dude you have so much going on in your life right now you know what you're just gonna have to let this one go like be chill about it all is well you're doing really good considering like what you're juggling at the moment also just lots of like little moments where I'm in the now and it's not like I'm putting effort to be in the now I just am in the present my next observation is that meditation makes me warm so I just got halfway through that meditation and it's just so hot. Talking about sitting there and meditating, I swear like it makes me warmer. I, am I just pulling that? I don't even know. Anyways, aircon's going on. We're doing this. This is happening. I had to stop mid meditation twice in my 29 days because I was so freaking warm. And I'm a person that thrives in the warm. Like I am a lizard, lie me in the sun and I am content. But apparently your body temperature rises naturally when you're in a state of relaxation. So knowing that makes me feel a little bit validated in knowing that yes, I am reaching some kind of meditative state. Because if you have any experience as a beginner meditator, there is that lingering thought of like, am I doing this right? My next observation is that some meditation 
ascension days are far better than others. During my 29 days, there were days when I felt like I reached the pinnacle. I was like that meditation, I was in the zone, I was zen. On other days, I'd be five minutes into the meditation and I'd be sitting there thinking about when the meditation was gonna end. I'd say that that was one of my worst meditations, to be honest. I just got so fishy towards the end and I think like nighttime in general, not my time for meditating. I just am such a little tired human. I just fall asleep and it's like having a really bad nap. Like I'm pretty sure I fell asleep during that meditation and then I woke up and I was like, probably wasn't the best of meditations, but I mean, I did it. Feeling like very anxious, I don't quite know why, but you know, literally can't stop shaking. My self-compassion levels have gotten notably higher though, because there was not once within my 29 days that I sat there and beat myself up for not being a good meditator. My final thoughts are, while 29 days of meditation may not have been immediately life-changing. I think it's one of those things that impacts you in little ways that you may not even notice during the day. From here, I'm going to keep on putting aside 10 to 15 minutes every day that I can to meditate. So I know that a lot of you guys are actually seasoned meditators far beyond my levels and have been meditating every day since God knows when. So I would love to hear what your favorite meditation tracks are in the description below and any tips that you might have for beginner meditators. Honestly, I'm positive that anyone scrolling through the comments would love to see your thoughts. If you liked this video, you might like my video on how to live an inspired and creative life. It'll be somewhere on the screen for you to click. I appreciate you guys so very much. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and I will see you soon. 29 days. Crazy.